No, no, but uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, I knew there was going to be growing pains. Um, you know, we've had it's it's sort of been interesting. You know, we start out the season and we we find out that uh, you know Andrew is not going to be able to play, so we've been adjusting to that. And then Jay Rich sprains his ankle, and one minute into New York, and Tommy's hurt, um, and so we play without them. And then last night, or Jay Rich comes back against Milwaukee, Tommy. So it's like we are we're still trying to figure out who we are. The the disappointing thing more than anything was just our lack of energy. That that was that was the most disappointing thing for me. Uh, one of the things that uh, I've always tried to pr uh, pride ourselves in this city in is that that team that we put out on the floor every single night is reflective of hard work and blue collar and toughness and all the things that, that Philadelphia is. And, and last night was not one of those nights. Maybe you have to have those nights. You know, maybe then it becomes a lot of self, uh, you know, uh, you know, reflection where you think about. Uh, unfortunately for me, uh, I, I take it so much on my own shoulders to always find the answer for everything. And sometimes the answers are you just got to go out and you just got to play, you got to be tough. Uh, you gotta, you gotta take the fight to somebody else. And I think what's happened here at home, for whatever reason, is is the teams have come and they've taken the fight to us. And we better not do that tomorrow night, not with Utah. Doug, how, how had the slow, the slow starts hurt you all? Because that's the well, you know what? Last night it was 17 to 16 at the 259 mark. You know, so we've had slow starts. We've shot the ball so poorly. Uh, I mean, last night, we, I didn't even realize we, we set a record for the worst shooting percentage ever at Wells Fargo. But all you have to look at is, you know, we, I, I told our guys last night at halftime, we had seven assists. Drew had five of them. We were three, our starters were three for 21 in the second half, and, and Royale Ivy had three field goals. You know, so we, we, we are not trusting uh, to get to the second side of everything we're doing. Um, we're not finishing plays on either end of the floor, um, and that's 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 been a real problem because what happens is then is you end up getting low percentage shots, and poor shots leads to poor transition. D, we've been beaten on the boards by 37 rebounds the last two games, 37, um, which obviously is not going to get it done. So it just uh, we gotta we gotta figure it out. I mean we've got we got four wins right now, and I look at the stats and we're shooting 40 percent from the floor, and I don't even know how we have four wins. So um, we have shown flashes where we've gone in and done things the right way, uh, but we got to we got to do them consistently, and it's just got to start the way we, we we come in and start games every night. You know Kwame you know started last night. I thought he gave us a good eight minutes. I thought he did a good job on the road to start the game. We've got to get a rotation down coming off that bench uh, because right now I'm trying to play six perimeter guys. You can't do that. Uh, then, then guys get out of sync. Somebody, then, then, then guys, minutes are getting messed up. So I got to figure out the five guys I'm going to play off the bench. And then the other guys got to be ready. So I got to, I got to work on how we're going to do that. Is this the kind of thing we're making changes or changing your rotation or, or your lineup? Is that not worth it at this point? Is that, that's not it? I, no. Uh, we've got to we've got to see Tom who who we are. I mean I I know I keep saying that over and over again. We've we've shown flashes where I mean God would go in and you know play a great second half against New Orleans, play tough and win the game. Go into Boston Garden, win that game. A back to back against Toronto in a tough game, win that game. So it's there. We we, we beat Denver in the home opener, but uh, you know we've been we've been up and down, up and down, up and down, and it's and and we've had players that have been up and down. And so the inconsistency is, is we, we, we've got to find some level of every night that this is, this is how we play. Uh, we, we've not executed on either end of the floor, and it comes back to get you. But when you have two straight games on the boards like that, do you, think, or do you feel teams are going to just start running bruisers after you? I mean, they're going to well, I mean, you know, if you, if you look at Detroit's team, that's a big physical front line. I mean, Greg Monroe, Max Seal, and Drummond. That's a big, strong, we're going to see a big, strong front line tomorrow. They'll put Millsap as a three and put Derek Favors out there with Jefferson. You know, not all teams are going to have that ability to have that physicality, but the teams that do that, 
I mean, we're going to, I mean, we're, we're going to have to be much tougher. And, and that's, 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 but, you know, if you look at our team last year, we didn't have a big team last year either. But right now, it, that's, that's a problem. I used to have, I mean, when Tony was here, he was sort of that safety valve for you. He was a veteran yeah, guy. That yeah, you but, just you know, kinda... yeah, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, that's, Tony did a great job for us. I mean, he did a great job. But, you know, we, we've got, we've got to get a consistency. And, and for whatever reason, I have no idea why we had no energy last night. We had Sunday off, played Monday night, and practiced for 30 minutes on Tuesday. I, I have no idea why we were so flat. How much does matchups play in the past two games? Um, well, we wanted Kwame out on Monroe, and I thought he did a, I thought he did a good job to start the game with him. Uh, the two guys who really hurt us were uh, uh, Tayshawn Prince and Kyle Singler. Our starting team had 11 field goals. Those two guys had 14. So you look at all the things, but I mean, those two guys, Tayshawn Prince and Singler, really, really hurt us last night. We, we had no answer to them. 37 get beat, uh, you know, by 18 rebounds. And those two guys play like that. Um, I mean, that's we gotta do better. So what do you do when when you know, the no energy thing? How do you handle it the next day? Do you back off a little bit, or do you work them harder? And because it's kind of unfamiliar ter territory, you were saying. Um, I basically just ran through stuff, uh, our offense, uh, and just talked about pressure releases. I mean, I've done it now. This is. Every time I turn around, it's how do you get guys off of you? How do you catch the ball when you're supposed to catch it? And so that we can run a play. So we did that for like an hour of full speed or 40 minutes of full speed. And then um, we had some other guys stay uh, to, to work on conditioning and do some extra work.